will see restful web services what are the topics we are going to see on this restful web services one is introduction next one is rest principles next one is importance of jax rs and spring annotations another one is importance of http in rest now next one uri handlers examples content handlers examples next one is how to handle look, exception handling exception handling in rest now next one is filters and interceptors now next one is rest services real time use cases another one is so security how to implement security in rest so these are the topics we are going into discuss on in our restful web services these are the topics we are going into discuss in restful web services restful web services so let's see now now we'll start introduction let's try to understand what is introduction so there is a one object in one jvm there is a one object in one jvm so now here see there is a one object in one jvm is trying into access another objects which are available in another jvm let's assume that object one object two object three object one object two and object three let's assume that there is a one object in one jvm that means now here see it is a one object that means it is a one object object one it is a java object java object this java object is available in one jvm it is a real time project batch okay now it is no problem okay okay you can listen it's not a problem yeah so now it is a there is a one object in one jvm there is a another object demo is already done but uh, there is a another object which is available in another jvm which is available in another jvm so it is available in another jvm object 3 object 3 there is a one object in one jvm is trying into access another object which is available in another jvm which is available in another jvm it is called java distributed technologies okay, distributed technologies in java distributed technologies so there is a one object one object in one jvm one jvm is trying to access another object another object which is trying to access another object which is available in another jvm which is available in another jvm is called is called java distributed technologies is called distributed technologies in java is called okay, distributed technologies in java okay now now in this use case okay what happened here in this use case what happened here now here see in this use case what happened here now here see so while communicating these objects from one jvm to another jvm see let's assume that this guy this object is developed by 
Yahoo. This object is written by Amazon. This object is written by Flipkart, whatever it. So Amazon required some information. That information is available with Yahoo. Flipkart required some information. That information is available with Yahoo. That information is available with Yahoo. So what would be happened here? So there is a one object is available in one JVM is trying into access another object which is available in another JVM it is called Java distributed technologies. See means while okay trying to communicating these objects. So what happened you know this data see all this is called a okay, network all this is called here network i'll transferring the data between network let's assume that if any some confidential data is there like username confidential data like password and confidential data like card number some confidential data see while transferring the data from one object to another object if the data is any confidential data if the data is any confidential data then everyone can able to access it okay everyone can able to see this data okay everyone can able to see this data so so to overcome these problems see to overcome these problems there are so many distributed technologies are came into the picture see there are many distributed technologies analysis are there in market one is rmi another one is ejb another one is uh, you know socket programming and so on corba so many so many uh, okay distributed technologies are came into the market so what happened you know so if you want to develop these applications so assume that to develop this okay, distributed application here object to one is a distributed application object to two is a okay, distributed application object to three is a okay, distributed application to develop distributed application you should use a technology is called rmi you should use a technology is called ejb you should use a technology is called Corba and so on. But I don't want to talk too much on what is RMI, what is EJB because no projects are using this legacy technologies in the market. No projects are using this in legacy technologies in the market now. So, but if you want to develop your application using RMI and EJB, then what are the drawbacks, you know? compulsory this amazon and flipkart also should be using java only so amazon also if you use no if you use your yahoo guy is rmi or ejb you are to communicate this yahoo application so this object two will write the client code that client code should be available in rmi ejb only here also this client code should be java only because they need to write the code in rmi and ejb only so what are the drawbacks with the you know rmi and ejb see if you write so there are so many okay, distributed okay, technologies are there in the market there are there are so many distributed distributed technologies are available in market some of them are rmi comma ejb and so on rmi or ejb and so on if we develop if you develop if you develop distributed application using 
RMI comma EJB then then clients clients also should use Java then clients also should use Java only clients also should use Java only clients also should use Java only so the problem is now here yeah you should force to using Java only that means you are you are able to see you are giving your services to your clients means it's not free of cost Amazon will pay in terms of crores to this Yahoo Flipkart guy will pay in terms of crores to this Yahoo but due to Yahoo is only in you know uh, RMI and EJB but whoever need that information all those informations also should be used in all those informations also should be used in Java only here it is in tightly coupled with Java so let's assume that before okay app services of what happened let's assume that if you use any some dot net technologies dot net technology is called Microsoft to come under DCOM we have come under DCOM uh, we have so many okay dot net okay technologies are there WCM so so many you know before the okay, web services is coming into the picture if you want to develop this object in dot net technologies then only dot net guy only can able to access this application only dot net client only can able to access this application only dot net client only can able to access this application this application understood what i'm trying to say so if you develop any any one application or any one distribute application before web services you should buy your product you should sell your products to only corresponding technologies only okay if you develop your object using dot net only dot net clients only access it if you develop your your application in java only java clients only can able to access it in real time there is no guarantee every organization will, will use same technologies in real time there is no guarantee every organization would use same technologies if you are using java your business will be limited to only java clients only if you are using dot net your business is only in limited to dot net clients only you can't get the business from other than the java you can't get the business from other than the dot net clients so it is a one of the drawbacks here because of these drawbacks because of all these drawbacks java guys has introduced a concept is called sun microsystem java guys you know uh, java people from sun microsystem introduced a concept is called web services that means now here see hey if you if you develop in java if you if you are if you are a distributed application in java means only only java clients can able to access only java clients can able to access if you develop your distributed application in dot net if you develop your distributed application in dot net only dot net clients Fine. only sorry dot only net client can yeah dot net clients only can able to access it so because of this your client is losing the revenue from other than the java guys your clients are losing the revenue from other than the dot net clients or java clients to overcome this problem so if you implement it right it is in terms of crores loss for your organization because of because of these limitations because of this limitation in terms of crores in terms of crores will be lost okay in terms of crores will be 
last for that organization for, for that organization so to overcome these all these problems to overcome 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 all these problems so big people big people like uh, sun microsystem like sun microsystem big people like the sun microsystems like uh, oracle like microsoft okay all guys are okay, all guys are sit together they they introduced a concept is called web services to overcome all these problems to overcome all these problems big people like sun microsystem oracle microsoft ibm and so on and so on, they sit together introduced a concept is called introduced a concept is called web services or introduced a concept is called web services how this web services will work now we'll see practically how this web services will work now we'll see that practically now we are seeing so how to overcome these problems by web services how to overcome these problems by web services now we are seeing so earlier problem is if you build java Hey, only should Java guys only can able to access it. If it is .NET, then uh, it won't work. Understood? Okay. Now we are seeing. Now what happened? What is web services? Now we are going to see. I have different systems. Oh, one system is let's Yahoo. We don't want to disturb this. Another guy is there. Another guy like uh, okay, another another Amazon. Another guy is there like Flipkart. In web services, Yahoo guy. No, no. In web services, whoever developed this service, that guy is called now here provider. Whoever developed this service, that guy is called now here provider. Provider. Whoever accessing that service, whoever accessing that service, that guy is the consumer. Whoever accessing that service, that guy is the consumer. Here, this consumer is Flipkart. Here, this consumer is Amazon. Now let's see, actual story will be started. So now please okay, try to understand here. Now what happened? See. So now you are trying to say that. Now we are seeing. There is a one object in one, one JVM is trying to access another object which is available in another JVM is called Java Distributed Technologies. Now, if you are using this consumer is Amazon, and Flipkart is the another consumers. Now, what happened? See, whenever your service guy will develop a one service, service. Now, what happened? So, this guy is using maybe .NET. This guy is using Java. This guy using PHP. Huh? java dot net some sap okay something is there here okay java dot net sap means sap now how to communicate different technologies guys can different technologies guys can yes, sir, communicate sorry sir no sir i say using their services concept 
concept they will communicate to each other understood so now we are seeing important stuff so how these guys can communicate with each each other how these guys can communicate with each other even though they are having different technology guys how they can communicate with each other so, okay so there is a concept is called there is so even though your your provider is dot net and consumer is java how this communication between each other the communication would be in the form of xml or json xml or json i will explain that how this okay book xml or json will work in web services is usually to to communicate with the different exposures okay, to communicate with the different technologies and systems easily can communicate it is the help of and the concept is called web services see now see see how this okay systems can be communicate with each other now it is okay very, very important topic how this okay, systems can be communicate with each other important now here see see let's assume that provider has provided one service provider has provided one service so how he will provided one service let's assume that if the provider is java or dot net or whatever it provider has provided one service after providing the service he is developing in which technologies dot net provider knows yahoo developer knows only dot net only so this after providing this service he will prepare a one documentation after providing the service he will prepare a one documentation he will prepare a one documentation he will prepare a one documentation what is that documentation is very very important provider has provided one service after provide after developing the service this provider will prepare a one documentation so that documentation if it is so based web services that documentation is called wsdl if it is a okay, rest based web services that documentation is called swagger swagger now please okay try to understand see this is this is this okay double sdl is file is in the form of xml and swagger is in the form of json swagger is in the form of json double sdl file is in the form of okay, xml and swagger is, is, is in the form of json json now here json or yaml okay yaml yaml file format now here once this provider has provided one service after that they need to share the so they need to prepare the either wsdl document or they need to prepare the swagger documentation they need to prepare the wsdl or they need to prepare the swagger documentation swagger documentation so now this either wsdl or swagger documentation to our consumers wsdl or swagger documentation to our consumer our consumers we have so many consumers are there we have so many consumers are there your provider will provide one service your provider will provide one service after providing this service after providing this service what your provider will do he will he will prepare the one double sdl if it is a soap based web services he will prepare the double sdl if it is a rest based web services he will prepare the swagger and he will share those two documents to your consumers so now now your consumers will have either wsdl your consumers will have either swagger 
if it is soap based web services wsdl if it is okay rest based web services swagger how the swagger how it is works i will explain now please try to understand so is the java wsdl and swagger is not specific to any technologies wsdl and swagger is not specific to any technologies it is generic for all the technologies wsdl is in the form of xml document and swagger is in the form of in json or yaml format those are not specific to any technologies those are specific to common technologies which is called xml or yaml what this java guy will do by seeing this swagger by seeing this you know wsdl this java guys will prepare the request object java guys will prepare the request object how this java guys will be prepare the request object java guys will be prepare the request object in which technologies this is in java because my you know it is in java because my consumer is in java so your consumer will prepare the request object in which te technologies java technologies so whenever your consumer is trying to send a request to your provider and never your consumer is trying into send a request to your provider at the pro at consumer and some processors are there at consumer and some processors are there your java object will be converting into your java object will be converting into either xml or json either xml or json this xml or json will be transfer 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 to transfer to your provider at provider end at provider end some processors will be there at provider end some processors will be there at provider end some processors will be there what this processors will do these processors these processors convert your xml to dot net object convert your xml to dot net object because your your provider is using dot net because your provider is using dot net dot, dot, dot net or okay whatever okay, technology it is at this stage here these guys is using dot net technologies no i would say here i would say here dot net okay dot net request object i would say here request object only in in which technologies you, you got this okay in dot net technologies this object will reach to whom this object will be reached to whom your provider that's it now provider will process the request because provider knows provider knows only only dot net only okay provider will process the request after that provider will prepare the response object provider will talk to backend systems and get the response and okay, okay prepare the response object provider will prepare the okay, response object in which the technologies provider will prepare the okay, response object in which technologies dot net because provider knows only dot net because pro provider knows only dot net okay provider will prepare the okay, response object in dot net so provider will process your request and he will prepare the okay response object and he will prepare the okay response object in which technology is dot net and never your provider is trying into send a okay response object to your consumer at provider and some processors are there at provider and some processors are there your response object will be converting into xml or json at provider end some processors will be there 
your response object will be converting into xml or json this xml json will be coming to your consumer this xml or json will be coming to your consumer at consumer end some processors will be there again here xml or json these again will be converting into java object again will be converting into java okay response object in in which tech in which technologies again it will be converting into java object in which technologies okay java object java because provider in this consumer knows only java no here see here provider don't know consumer is sending request in which technologies always your provider will receive a request in the form of xml consumer don't know provider is using which technologies always consumer will okay, receive a okay, response in the form of xml now see here you have flipkart okay flipkart is there flipkart is the another consumer so flipkart guy will be prepare the request object in which technologies let's assume that flipkart guy will be using php let's assume that this flipkart guy will be using okay request object in which tech okay which technologies php technologies Let, let's assume that see by seeing this okay double sdl or by seeing this swagger documentation so these two are not specific to any technologies by seeing this okay this okay documents now here your flipkart developers will be prepare the request object will be prepare the request object in which technologies php at provide but you cannot send this php object to your provider because your provider can understand only dotnet only if you give php to your provider he can't understand anything at consumer end some processors will be there convert this php request object at consumer end some processors will be there convert this okay request object into either xml or json convert this okay request object into either xml or json this xml or json will be transferred to this okay xml or json will be transferred to your provider at provider and some processors will be there at provider and some processors will be there what these processors what these processors will do convert your convert your xml or json to convert your xml or json to java object convert your xml or json no. to dotnet object. Dotnet object. Dotnet object because your provider can understand only dotnet technologies your provider can understand only dotnet technologies now here see now this okay dotnet okay request object will goes to your provider will goes to your provider hey your provider will process the request your provider will process the request and the provider will give response always your provider will give response in which te technologies dotnet because your provider knows only because your provider knows only dotnet only always your provider will receive a Okay, response okay send a response in which technologies dotnet technologies provider will prepare the okay response object in dotnet technologies response object in dotnet technologies at provider and some processors will be there what would be happened this okay response object at provider and some processors will be there this okay response object will be converting into xml or json okay, response object will be converting into xml or json this xml or json will be transferred to your consumer this xml or json 
will be transferred to your consumer at consumer end some processors will be there convert this xml or json to php response object json to php response object json to a response object in which technologies php okay now see now there is a one object in one jvm is trying to access another objects these objects are available in another jvm but still these objects rise is trying into communicate with other objects with the help of xml or json with the help of xml or json now if you see here provider don't know consumers may be a java dot net php xyz sap whatever it here provider don't know consumers are sending a request in the form of which technologies always provider will receive a request in the form of xml 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 or json 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 here consumers don't know provider is sending a response in the form of which technologies always your consumers will receive a response in the form of either xmls or json so if you see this irrespective of the technologies you know you can able to communicate with each other with the help of xmls or json that's why web service is an interoperability it is it is able to operate between all these systems with the help of xmls or json all the systems with the help of xmls or json now it is non technical architecture for web service now what is okay technical architecture for and sir, sir, service sir uh, what what is the wsdl and swagger no i am going to explain now okay i am going to explain now so what is that okay technical architecture for web service now here see here let's assume that i have an yahoo company let's assume that this yahoo guy is using uh, please try to understand it is very very important so what is there inside of this wsd yahoo means it is in web service okay, terminologies this guy is the provider provider has provided one service what is that service weather information if, if you pass input city or country output is how much temperature of this weather output is how much okay temperature you know how many degrees of centigrade it is there it will give so i want to build one service let's assume that now we are using this yahoo guy is using java so how to write one simple code in java how to write one simple code in java simple code public interface whether service public float get weather info string city name get weather info string city name string city name no implementation class implementation class class 
weather service IMPL class weather service IMPL implements weather service. Let's assume that here Hughes business logic is there. Here Hughes uh, business logic is there. It will give response. Uh, call to backend systems and get the response. Call to backend systems and get the response. Call to backend systems and get the response. Now we are see. Done. Once it is done. Now what happened? Now what happened? So it is in Java. It is in Java. Provider has provided one service. Provider will prepare the documentation. That documentation is called visitor. Visitor stands for web service description language. Visitor stands for web service description language. Visitor stands for web service description language now what is there here what is there in this okay wsdl now here see what is the your service definitions what is the service definitions and what is the interface name i am going into give an okay, example it is it is blueprint Interface name is either service. What is interface name? And what is the operation name? Operation is get weather info. Operation is get weather info. Now, what is the input? Now, here, what is the input? And what is the output? Everything will be available in the form of XMLs. To understand this, no need. If it is consumer is .NET, .NET should understand this of okay, WSDL. If consumer is Java, Java guys should understand what is interface name, what is operation name, what is input, and what is output. Every technology is their own okay, technologies they should be understand their own technologies there should be understand all this stuff there should be understand all this stuff understood right now here see <clears throat> now what happened here now if it is swagger same instead of instead of uh, you know xml here how this stuff is there Swagger is there and rest to user guide documentation. It is service user guide. Same here. What is the URI? What is the path? Of what is the input and what is the output? What is the input and what is the output? Everything looks like same. So if it is so it is not these are not specific to any technologies what will do this whoever is the consumer they will share wsdl or swagger to these consumers wsdl or swagger to that consumers let's assume that your consumer may be amazon so what this Amazon will do, Amazon want, uh, what this Amazon will do, Amazon want to display this uh, temperature. Oh, once the user will be logging into Amazon.com application, once the user will be logging into Amazon.com application, Amazon, uh, you know, uh, Amazon customers can see this information in the, Amazon customers can see this information in the, uh, you know after logging into customers after logging into customers amazon guys can see this information now what happened now what happened now we'll see here now we'll see here 
so by seeing this okay double sdl documentation by seeing this okay double sdl documentation this guy amazon developers will write the client code how to write the client code see by seeing this okay double sdl amazon guy will he'll write the okay, request object how to write the request object so they have interface name they have operations name they have okay, everything they will prepare they will prepare either service request 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 is equal to new weather service request and so on new weather service request like that they would be prepared here new weather service request like that they would be prepared here now so whenever like that you know string okay request to dot sc is equal to okay request to dot set city name hyderabad or okay, something like that they have prepared this okay request object whenever after they will prepare the request object after they will prepare the request object at consumer end some processors will be there at consumer end some processors will be there those processors as they are responsible convert this at our request object we are preparing by seeing vidal or by seeing swagger they will be converting this request object into xml how the xml is there xml is this one request city name city name like that <clears throat> they will be prepared so i am closing this request see by seeing this if it is json how this json simple city name metropolitan by seeing this can you able to know is this is this specific to any technologies please tell me by seeing this xml or json can you able to know uh, okay, can you tell is it okay, xml or okay, okay is it json can you tell anyone <clears throat> can you what tell anyone you team? By seeing this so, what so let's assume that my amazon guy is the java guy so by, by seeing this code you can tell it is java or dot net but by seeing this xml or in json can you tell it is a java or dot net no 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 ever no right so by seeing the code you can tell it is java or dot net but by seeing this xml or json you can't tell it is a java or dot net oh. see this xml data will be or json data will go to who your provider this xml json data we will go to whom your provider understood what i'm trying to say so your provider don't know your consumer is using xml or json your provider don't know consumer is using xml or json so this xml will go to your provider at provider end now this again xml file will be converting at provider end again xml or json will be converting xml or json would be converting into java object because here here provider don't know provider don't know consumer using which technologies your consumer don't know provider is using which technologies always your provider will tell hey i am exposing one service doesn't matter whether i am using uh, soap or i am using rest or whether i am using 
Java or .NET, you don't bother. So I am developing a web service. So whoever my consumers are there, whoever my consumers are there, I will provide them to WSDL or Swagger documentation. That consumer has the okay, responsible by seeing WSDL or by seeing Swagger, they will prepare the app service request object and they will call this okay to your service at consumer end. Some processors are there. Those processors are okay, responsible to convert your request object into XML or JSON. That XML will go to your provider. At provider end, some processors are there. Those processors will convert your XML or JSON to your Java object. Understood. Here, question is who is that processor? Question is who is that processor? So who is that processor means see now for every request in web services in web services for every request consumer end request object will be convert into XML or JSON and provider end and provider end xml and json will be convert into will be convert into since we are using java for every request consumer end java request object will be convert into xml or json and provider end xml or json will be convert into java object sir uh, you retain consumer will change uh, java request object into the xml or json Ki, hmm. uh, consumer will receive json and xml and convert according to all language no consumer will prepare the request object always this request object will be converting into xml or json receiving is okay you can ignore it provider will share one document to consumer okay i will i will explain in easy way so what are the steps are required to provider and provider and steps understand the client requirement write the code write the service development write the service development prepare the user guide documentation either in WSDL or in Swagger fourth one share this document share the user guide document to consumer what is this consumer end steps? Number one, get the user guide documentation from provider. Get the user guide documentation from provider get the user guide documentation either in the form of visual or swagger either in the form of wsdl or swagger get the user guide documentation from provider prepare the request object 
by using visible or swagger see whenever you prepared this send the request object to provider while sending request object at consumer end this request object will be convert into here consumer using which technology is java convert this request object into xml as of now we will use called okay, xml now this xml will go to provider at provider end again this xml file will be converting into java request object this request object will go to who provider means for every request to provider end your java object will be converting into xml consumer end your xml file will be converting into java object provider will process the response process the request provider will process the request and he will prepare the response provider will process the request and he will prepare the response prepare the response prepare the response java response object provider will process the request and prepare the response at provider end some processors are there those processors are converting into xml send this xml to your consumer at consumer end again convert this xml into java response object java response object give this java response object to whom you are consumer give this java response object to your consumer give this java response object to here consumer to team or any questions this is the way uh, what, yeah this is the way sir and what is a guide documentation sir user guide documentation what is in it this wsdl or swagger user documentation will have information about your service what is the service what is the description of your service what is the service input what is the service output what is the service format xml or json everything will be available in that user documentation okay okay sir. understood everything will be available in that user okay documentation yes sir uh -huh. any questions team you can ask that means what I'm trying to say for every request consumer end request object should be converting into XML request object for every request consumer end request object will convert to XML provider end xml to xml will convert into java object for every response 
who will give response provider right provider and response object will convert into xml into xml again consumer and xml will convert into java object or response object every request in web services your provider your consumer and your object will be converting into xml and provider and that xml file will be converting into java object response provider and response object will be converting into xml consumer and xml will convert into java object here provider don't know consumer is always sending a request in which technologies always it is in xml 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 consumer don't know provider is sending a response in the form of which technologies always it is xml 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 now see what are the real time terminologies in so now see who will convert so now here real time terminologies so now my question is how to prepare the web services in java i will give answer as of now i will give as of now i will give if it is so based web services so you should go for jax ws java api for xml web services if it is okay restful based on work app services you should go for jax rsr spring rest jax rsr spring rest now how to do this how to work now we'll see practical still we are in introduction only now okay next one so done now next question so who will convert who will convert java object to xml and xml to java object who will convert java object to json and json to java object who will do this who will do this stuff jaxrs no for yeah. in case of the gpu jaxrs only answers are jax b java api for xml binding this jax b will take care to convert java object to xml and to convert java object to xml and xml to java object uh, like in servlet sir uh, we write xml uh, information in xml the xml parcel will convert all things into servlet object na sir sorry no that is different that is different yes sir yes sir okay i will explain okay that is different who will convert java object to json and json to java object who will convert java object to json and in json to java object so there is a concept is called jackson there is a concept is called jackson jackson java object to json and json to java object there is a concept is called jackson 
Jackson, we will take care to convert the Java object to JSON and JSON to Java object. Means if both provider and consumer is Java. Here you have, if both provider and consumer is Java. Here you have JAXB is there. This JAXB will take care to convert your Java object into XML. XML will go to your provider. <coughs> Hot provider and who is there? JAXB is there. That JAXB has the okay, responsible to convert your Java object to uh, okay, your XML to Java object. Your XML to Java object. <coughs> okay, understood team. Any questions here? So who no, will sir. convert your Java object into XML? and XML into Java object means JAXB. Who will convert your Java object into XML and XML into Java object means JAXB. JAXB has the okay, responsible to, to take care of, to convert the Java object to XML and work XML to Java object. What about this one? So JSON, who will convert java object into json and json to java object means jackson jackson will take care to convert java object to json and json to java object json to java object that's it any questions team you can ask if it is okay then he'll he'll share our oh, what are the real time project terminologies Okay, in real time okay, terminologies. Real time terminologies. First, always it should talk about. Always it should talk about okay, services. How many services you built in your project? Order services product services order service product service account service balance service account info service statement or you will get in credit card statement statement details service these are all now, how many APIs we have built till now? A service may have a number of methods. Create order is one API. Update order is one API. Get order is one API. Update order is one API delete order is one api understood create order update order create order update order delete order and so on all these are apis now how in your real time they are going to talk each every api what is the request XML and what is the response XML? Or what is the request dot JSON comma response dot JSON? Each APA, what is the request XML and what is the response XML? And what is the request JSON and what is the response JSON? What is the request JSON and what is the response JSON? Each and every API. Understood team. So how it is happening? So request XML and okay response XML. Request in JSON and okay response in JSON. So another one is what is endpoint URL? Endpoint URL means location of the service endpoint URL means location of the service where you are that means where is the 
service deployed that location so okay, example is without knowing location how can you call your service http colon localhost colon slash order service slash orders it is the location so where is means in this location your service has deployed hundreds of service will be deployed in this location i am calling my service service inside of the my service so many methods are there each method i want to call orders method i want to call get orders that's it this is called okay end point you are the service name api's name request and response end point you are okay now please share service user guides it may be in the form of soap or it may be in the form of xml this is the way how how you are going to use real time terminologies on web services how we are going to use real time terminologies on web services any questions team this is about introduction this is about introduction this is about introduction any questions you can ask if you are okay then we'll start our next topic is rest principles this is about introduction any questions team hope all are good yeah hello That's sir uh, use xml in soap yeah no rest also we will use in xml i will explain all step by step uh, soap xml is different xml also you can use in rest i will explain that i will explain what is the difference between soap based web service and okay, rest based web services also i will explain these methods okay. methods are called apis sir yeah yeah apis order service is an service interface inside of this how many methods are there every method is one of the api this method should be exposing to your consumers how to exposing and all i will explain now is it clear team everyone or any questions no sir sir this is a third point is a document request sorry sorry third point right third point Okay, request dot xml no no request dot and response dot yeah, we need to discuss right what is the get order sample request and response xml what is the request xml what is the response xml what is the request json and what is the response json that we need to discuss right okay See, if you are calling one API, means we should know what is the request, uh, you know, what is the request XML format and what is the response XML format, right? That's all this one. No, okay, that's fine. Now we'll see. Okay. 40 years old of this Web Futures. Not now. This Web Futures from 40 years old. Forty years old of this web futures. What are these forty years old web futures? What are these forty years old of this web futures means? One is HTTP. Another one is HTTP methods. Another one is URI. You are right. See, on top of this 40 years old of this web futures. Now they implemented rest guys has implemented some principles. 40 years old of web futures. Rest guys has implemented some principles. What are those principles? One is URI. 40 years old of the Sebu futures. 
on top of this ebu futures so rest guys has implemented some principles one is resource another one is uri another one is representation resource uri and representation and uniform interface uniform interface and ATOS 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 hyper media as the engine of applications status these are called trust principles 40 years old of web futures on top of web futures they implemented some principles rest principles those after implementing all these rest principles then it become as a rest rest stands for representational state transfer 40 years old of the sub futures on top of the sub futures they implemented some principles those principles are called resource uri representation uniform interface atos on top of this rest of principles they introduced a you know on top of this web futures they introduced some rest of principles it is called a rest rest stands for representational state transfer rest stands for representational state transfer so now first we will see what is mean by this dress to principles then we will talk about what is rest dress to principles means first one is you are the first one is resource resource means everything anything physically representation anything physically available any anything physically existing is called resource that means now if you see in our technical terminologies technical terminologies resource means a interface is a resource class is a resource method is a resource images or files are called resource database is a resource everything is called a resource 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 so it is called a resource a resource is physically existing is called a resource resources and physically existing is called a resource now see now next you will see what is the uri i will explain okay difference between resource and uri i will explain what is the uri first we will go for uri url stands for uniform resource locator Okay, example is http colon www dot srinotech dot com www dot srinotech dot com what is the uri URI stands for Uniform Resource Identifier. Uniform Resource Identifier. Okay, example is HTTP colon. What is identifier? Okay, example is okay, HTTP colon. 
HTTP colon HTTP colon URI is uniform resource identifier. Now, what is this there here? www dot com slash com slash courses web services. What is the uniform resource identifier? Web service soap. Web services rest. So it is called all our restful web services. Only I want introduction topic. These are all called resources. A URI. Uniform resource identifier. URI. Yeah, URI is super set of URI. Difference means here only sinoteco.com, your only location. Once you will identify, once you locate the Sinotech from Sinotech, uniform interface. Here it is a one URI. Slash courses slash double S. It is a one URI. URI means uniform resource identifier. Identify the particular resource. Here sinotech.com is only location. Once you once you will uh, locate the sinotech.com, now you need to identify all this. Understood? So it is a one different URI. 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 See uniform resource identifier, uniquely identifier particular resource. If you want access a particular resource, you need to identify uniquely. You need to identify uniquely. So always URI is the URI is the super set of URL. Means always when compared to URL. URI will have more information is there. Now, next one is what is the relationship between URI and URL? Okay. Now, relationship between URI and URL. Now, here see you have a one resource R1. Resource may be a class or interface, resource may be a file, whatever it is. You have a one resource. If you have the URI, try to access this URI with resource. That's it. Using one URI, you can represent. Using one URI, you can call this resource. Now, you have another resource. You have another resource R2. You have another resource R3. Now it is R2. Now it is R3. See, two URI can represent same resources. This is the URI2. This is the URI3. See, two URIs can represent same resource. Not a problem. Means, if you ask SOAP, if you ask REST, both will be in one single uh, document, single file. Even if you click on soap based web service, even if you click on a rest based web services, you will get only one document which contain both soap and rest. But single URI does not refer to multiple resources. Single URI does not refer to multiple resources. It is something like that. Now, see a person and Gmail, which is Gmail. Person and Gmail, it is two persons. See, see Gmail is a URI. Sorry, it's reverse. Gmail, Gmail to person is a resource here. Two Gmail IDs can have one single person, but single gmail id does not belongs to a multiple person here 
the relationship between uri means one to one is okay relationship between you now this is many to one also okay but relationship between one to many is not okay one to many is not okay relationship between one to one is okay relationship between many to one is okay but relationship between one to many is not okay relationship between one to many is not okay just try to understand see a resource may be anything okay anything is okay representation anything is physically like existing is called a resource anything is physically like existing is called a resource a resource may be interface resource may be a class resource may be a method image but how to call this resource to call this resource i need uri not url url means only only one location but once you identify the url then you need to access what resource you want from cnoteco.com from cnoteco.com you have so many from cnoteco.com you have new batches from cnoteco.com you have demo videos from cnoteco.com you have what you want from cnoteco.com you want a placement from cnoteco.com you see everything is called a you know, uri everything is called a you are a you are a you are a it is understood team you are a you are a you are a so this is the relationship between you are a and you are in now next one what is mean by representation i would say what is mean by okay representation Any what is mean by okay, representation i would say how you are representing your data how you are representing your data that means now here see i have a client i have a server i have a client and i have a server i would say i have a client i have a server now client will send a request client will send a request client is sending a request is nothing but order id or i i want slash customers slash customer id client is sending a request server would give response client is sending a request server would give response of this customer id what is this customer id response customer id customer name customer address customer id customer name customer address and address address is hyderabad means that means how we are representing our request and response data representation is nothing but data format of request and response that means how you are representing your request and response data how you are representing request and response data how how you are representing request and response data is called representation is called representation how you are representing your request and response data what format you are representing request and response data 
how you are representing request and response data and what format you are going into represent is called a okay, representation see are you representing your data is in the form of okay, xml are you representing your data is in the form of xml are you representing your data is in the form of json are you representing your data is in the form of text are you representing your data in the form of html how you are representation representation means how you are representing yourself like how you are representing your data that is called a okay, representation that is called representation if you can represent in the form of xml it would be xml if you represent in the form of json it could be json understood team what is uniform interface i will explain uniform interface and eight years these two are later see 40 years old of this abu futures on top of this abu futures built these rest principles on top of web futures they built some rest principles they built some rest principles so whenever you become these rest principles then it is it is become as a now here on top of this web features they introduced some principles whenever your restful web services will will follow all these principles then it, it will become as a rest become as a rest understood yeah. any questions team now see what, what once any application will follow all these principles then it become as a rest rest stands for representational what is okay representational state transfer rest is an architectural style rest is an architectural style that means it is a theory it is a theory or concept it is a theory or concept take this theory take this theory how you are implemented it's your wish 40 years now here see now if you see, take this theory rest is an architectural style means it's a theory take this theory how you can implement its your wish so rest guys has given dry field has given these principles only as a theory dry field feel like hey every project every application should follow the resources and uri and uniform interface and representation and hetios it is the standard understood now this java guys take this theory implemented a concept is called jaxrs java guys implemented a no read this theory implemented a concept is called jaxrs jaxrs stands for java api for xml restful web services java api for xml restful web services jax rs is an api jdbc is an api you can't develop with this api as per our requirement compulsory there are some implementation vendors there are some implementation vendors are there what are the implementation vendors one is jersey one is jersey another one is apache access to apache cxf apache cxf any one of the implementation vendor is mandatory only jdbc is an api without implementation vendor what can you do 
without implementation of vendor, what can we do? So that's why now here, see, you have to know this, these many implementation vendors are there. Jax RS is an API. All these implementation vendors understood. It's kind of JDBC is an API, Oracle, MySQL, how it is there. Similarly here, these are called implementation vendors. So similarly, .NET guy will take this API specification and dot, .NET guy also will write the code in uh, .NET. So .NET also is an API. There are so many implementation vendors are there for this WCF, WVF and all. So implementation vendors. You can use which implementation vendor, either one of the implementation vendor, you can use it. Either one of the implementation vendor, you can use it. Depends. Uh, I think sir, Jersey is famous, sir. Yeah, Jesse is uh, in, 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 in internet very rare. Frequently used comments will be available. That's why we would be using Jesse main. So dry field has. Has given. Rest API specification. given 2020 so most of the people over here has given rest api specification specification so whoever want right whoever whoever need they will whoever need whoever need you know they will write implementation code for one of the one of the see whoever need they will write implementation code of one one of the one of the they will write the implementation code of they will write the implementation code of the jack service Understood team, any questions you can ask. So that's why trust is an architectural style, it's not a theory, it's a concept. Whoever wants, they can use it. If sir, what this uh, Jax RS will do? Jax RS will have own interfaces and classes. JDBC is an interface. What do JDBC will do? If you open this in JDBC, only you have only you have. Uh, you know what are the classes and interfaces are there but who will take care of to convert java object and okay remaining stuff all so many are there who will take care all okay did you get it sir since jdbc is an api without driver class can't you able to communicate to your jdbc api no driver classes are mandatory understood sir so sorry jax rs uh, contains classes and uh, driver classes oh yes it should go definitely yeah go ahead any questions so similarly spring guys also has implemented one more api using that specification spring rest don't know internally it might be using jersey also but not sure which one it will be using See, Spring Rest also will use this internal. Spring Rest also will use this internal. What this uh, vendor, uh, Jersey, Apache XCS and Apache CXF will do, sir? Sorry, sorry. What will uh, these vendors do? Okay. See, these vendors, right? Yes, yes, like Jersey. every implementation vendor, their own servlet is there. Jesse is in servlet, CXF, yeah. See, so that servlet, whenever you call, right, it will it will talk to you know your uh, backend systems and get the response and given to you. What will these vendors do, like Jersey? See, who will 
who will receive the request and who will process the request and who will give the response to your consumer this it is an api jax rs is an api it is an api like uh, JDBC. So these are the vendors. Means they will write the interfaces and IMPL classes. All vendors, Jersey vendors, will write the source code in Jersey. And uh, Apache Access to Guy will write the code in Access and uh, C, you know, and uh, Apache CXF, okay, its own client code is there using that. They will, using that, they will, you know, uh, okay, expose your. Um, web services only plain jack service you cannot do it uh, sir it means uh, <coughs> jack rs has interfaces and whatever the uh, vendors implement they will do implementation no jack rs will provide the only set of interfaces and classes if you are using jersey jersey mm -hmm. implementation vendor to take care of implement the code of this jax rs mm -hmm. if you are using apache access to apache access to will take care of to implement the code of jax rs sir uh, what about the uh, below a statement Roy field has given the rest api specification a specification means interfaces, no, sir? Yeah, specification means it's a okay. Try field has given this architectural style, not specification. Try field has given rest architectural paper publication. He he did one PhD in paper publication on huh? 2017 something. That paper is now it is become as a entire market now. Has given Troy Field has given REST API, okay, REST API architectural. So now okay, everyone is using that architectural style to implement as per their need. Now we'll see. What are the JAX RS annotations? JAX RS annotations. One is at the rate path, at the rate get, at the rate post, at the rate put. At the rate delete there are so many annotations up there few of the annotations are at the rate of path at the rate get at the rate post at the rate put at the rate delete at the rate produces At the rate consumes, at the rate path param, at the rate query param, at the rate matrix param, at the rate farm param, at the rate farm param, at the rate path, at the rate get, at the rate post. At the rate of put, at the rate of produces, at the rate of consumes, at the rate of path param, at the rate of query param, at the rate of matrix param, at the rate of farm param, at the rate of cooking param, at the rate, at the rate header param, at the rate context, at the rate context. Or the rate context you are in for whatever it or the rate context or the rate you are in for so there are so many annotations are there are the rate singleton 
there are so many annotations are there at the rate b in param all these are annotations it is jack sars annotations now next one now next one at the rate produces at the rate consumes at the rate path at the rate curry at the rate farm at the rate cookie at the rate context at the rate singleton so these many annotations are there so in our real time these many annotations are there understood so using these annotations how we should work on it understood team so these are the jack sars annotations path param query param matrix param form param cookie param now next important is bean param singleton context understood team understood team any questions now yes these are the jack sars specification has given this doc this annotations at the rate path at the rate produces at the rate consumes at the rate path param at the rate curry param at the rate farm param at the rate okay header param at the rate cookie param at the rate context you are at the rate singleton at the rate bean param understood team so these are the annotations we need to learn how these annotations will work so to develop one rest api using jack sars to develop one rest api using jack sars we need all the annotations are required to develop the rest api using jack sars we need all the above annotations if you are going with the spring rest market jacks are as very you know people are not encouraging not using if any opportunity they are going into use spring rest or spring boot spring rest what are the annotations are there in spring rest no at the rate path instead of at the rate path you should go for request of mapping no next one you should go for at the rate rest controller you should go for at the rate get mapping at the rate post mapping at the rate put mapping okay now these are the annotations understand understand at the rate xxx mapping of no fifth one at the rate path variable i will explain what is this annotations and all i will explain at the rate request to param at the rate request to param at the rate of path variable now next one at the rate header request to header so same annotations only there header param here okay request to header okay depends upon requirement if you are going with spring rest to use this annotations if you are going with the plain rest independent understood so how to use where to use all the annotations i will explain practically so you, you can develop api using plain rest you can spring rest but most of the cases in spring rest only plain rest no one will use these days but still we are okay discussing if it is plain rest means these annotations if it is spring rest means like see how it is request to mapping at the rate rest control at the rate get mapping post mapping put mapping and so on then at the rate path variable at the rate request to para 
a moderate request header. These are the main annotations of how to use. The above annotations are used to develop REST API. The above annotations are used to build the REST to build the Spring REST to build or develop the Spring REST to build or develop the Spring REST. Understood, team? Any questions you can ask me here. We need to strong on these annotations to build the REST API. You can develop your service provider. Always. You can develop your REST API. You can develop your provider. Two ways. Develop the provider in two ways. One is using plain REST. Another one is using Spring REST. One is plain REST. Another one is using Spring REST. Plain REST and Spring REST. So if it is plain REST, you could handle all these un un annotations. Plain REST means you should go for using JAX RS annotations build REST API. Using JAX RS annotations. Spring REST means build REST API using using Spring REST annotations. Okay, any questions, team? You can ask. Now we'll start our actual stuff. Sir, uh, Spring REST and Spring Boot, there is any difference between these things? Yeah, Spring Boot also will use Spring REST to develop REST API, but difference is. Okay, remaining stuff later I will explain. Spring Boot. We will use Spring REST to develop the REST APIs. Understood? It is a different one. You are using Spring Boot means for this REST API, you are using all these annotations all these annotations you are using all these annotations understood spring boot is different approach but if you want to develop spring uh, okay rest api using spring boot means you, you should use okay let's see how it is sir nowadays we only spring rest yeah most of the projects are using spring rest now but sir why you should run jacks rs the reason is still some of the legacy of services are there. Those are still built on uh, okay, legacy means old one, JAX RS only. We should have awareness of JAX RS also. Okay, sir. understood. Any questions, please ask any confusions here. Uh, Spring REST also internally using JAX RX? Mm, no, Spring REST is its own implementation. It's not using JAX RS. Spring REST, its own implementation, it's not JAX RS. Understood, sir? Yes. So, in your real time, as I told, you have a provider, you have a consumer to develop the provider application using, to develop the provider using Java. So, you, you have only two options. One is provider is plain REST, provider is Spring REST. If it is plain REST to build the REST API using JAX RS annotations, if it is Spring REST to build the REST API using Spring REST annotations. Now, how to build? So you should know if anyone will be asked, please write the one simple REST API. You are starting REST API using Spring Boot means it is not recommended these annotations JAX RS. You should use always these annotations only. Spring Boot also will use Spring REST and annotations to develop okay, REST API. Spring Boot will use Spring REST annotations. Spring Boot will use Spring REST annotations to develop REST API. Understood team? So you, okay, okay. you should be remember this, this all Spring REST annotations is coming along with the Spring MVC. Spring MVC only but all these annotations are 
spring mvc but except to view layer you need all these annotations spring mvc except view layer we okay without view layer we should use we should use to build rest apis using spring mvc annotations using spring mvc annotations any questions team any Yo, questions which team? Uh, language are you using angular yeah no, first we'll use two three examples in jax rs sir in view sir, it is not which, uh, can you ask them what are you using angular yeah sir why are you talking about angular now what is your confusion So my my intention is okay. I will explain. Sir, uh, before rest, we need to learn about uh, web service. No need, no need, no need. I will I will take care of everything. So it is web service. Always, if it is web service, means we have two components. One is provider. Another one is consumer. If it is provider again two ways so based web services and rest it all depends there may be but soap no one will use in the market now soap and rest now soap and rest now in this again rest we'll have two things Plain rest and spring rest. Now it is spring rest. Using spring rest. It is plain soap. It is Jax WS. It is Jax WS. That's it consumer if it is rest you should write the client code to call the service and get the response how this i will explain practically what i am trying to say market this developing this is gone no one will use but still some of the legacy one is there we should go but every api is using this one now okay everyone using this one now any questions team you can ask uh sir as you told this uh except this view layer we are using those uh, annotation in any layer any layer means can we use in service layer also because uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we can use those yeah, we will use service layer also we will use in the project you will be able to know how to use this service layer and all in our project development you will be using okay. understood madam service layer we will use controller layer we will use DAO layer we will use everything we will use but JSPs will not be there instead of JSPs always if it is a kept service means it returns either in the form of XML or in the form of JSON. If it is web application, JSP rendering is there. If it is app services, it is distributed application. No JSPs, no presentation layer. Always return either XML or JSON. That's what I, we are doing here. So if it is app service, no JSP, only return either XML or JSON. If it is MVC app application, written in the form of JSPs. Here no JSPs, if you see. No JSPs here. Always it returns XML or JSON. Always it returns XML or JSON. Team, please try to understand. Basics are not good means then 
uh, it is very difficult to write our coding here we spring mbc okay. uh, we will use, uh, sorry without spring mbc uh, hmm. why we See, use all, spring mbc all these annotations are spring mbc annotations only right yes sir yeah yeah all these annotations are spring mbc means what what so we are, going we are using yeah, Spring MVC annotations to build to build uh, Spring Rest. Spring MVC annotations we will use to bring Spring Rest. Any questions, team? Now we'll see. Now we'll start. Actual examples. Now we'll start. I will show you one example. Simple example. So now we are using these annotations now. I will start with one simple example. After that, very, very important. Entire river crest full is okay, depending on this fourth. If you understand this fourth, if you understand this fourth, nothing is there at rest full app services. If you understand this fourth one, nothing is there in our restful web services that one you should be strong on how to build your rest apis strong on how to build your rest apis so it is very very important team importance of http in our rest is very very important now shall we start now so or we, we will take break uh, lunch break and we'll come at two o'clock which one is good team? Lunch sir, break, sir. Yes, sir. I think okay, sir. Break is okay, sir. Okay, then. I think this conference Java will now class be recorded. To become as a rest API. You need to become as at the rate path slash order. At the rate path slash order. So now. Or the red path slash v1 we can give now no next step what is next step now see here what is next step now it is get order so you are see it is for your uri can be able to access only v1 only i want to access this one how to use slash orders I want to access this one. I want to expose this one. How to use orders, order ID. I want to access this one. String name. How to use this one? You should use at the rate path. You should use at the rate path. Now, so slash orders. Now, how to read these values? Now, I will explain slash orders. How to slash get order some things. So, now please try to understand. Due to space issue, I am reducing this. I am reducing this font. Hope this is okay. Now, how to access this one? This is also okay. Give at the rate path. Give at the rate path slash orders. Now, please try to understand here. Now, please try to understand here. So what you should understand here please try to understand now here you are using at the rate path orders now you, here you are using at the rate path orders now is it which method it is get method you are not posting anything you are retrieving the data from the server here it is it is also same here retrieving the data from the server 
here here also it would be same retrieving the data from the server but here we are create inserting the data into server now please okay try to understand here okay inside of the method we have code is there that code later we'll see inside of the method we have code is there that code how it is later we'll see now now please okay try to understand here still we have some more stuff is there here still we have some more stuff is there what is that stuff i will explain now here see so i have a web.xml what is this web.xml i will explain sorry no problem order create order to have both path same even though path is same method is different did you see yes sir yeah that if you pass the get method first get order will be called if you pass the post method second order would be called understood even though method name is same you need to understand even though method name is the same but what you should understand uh, you know this path this uh, okay http method is different okay http method is different understood sir okay now here web.xml what implementation vendor you are using the corresponding implementation vendor servlet name you should be configured what implementation vendor you are using jax rs implementation vendor that is jersey servlet should configure here let's assume that this jersey url mapping is slash rest url mapping is slash rest okay url mapping is here slash rest now here see see your client how to frame the url see how your client can identify this is a resource http colon localhost to colon 8080 slash order service slash rest whenever this if you observe this uri if you frame this uri please try to understand this uri the flow will go to your jersey servlet jersey servlet has the okay, responsible to identify the resource first your http request will go to web.xml okay, your jersey servlet object will be created based on the v1 jersey servlet has the okay, responsible to identify the resources to identify the resource jersey servlet has the okay, responsible to identify the resource to identify the resource understood team once you will identify the resource so you need to call orders orders plus get method means this one will be called if you want to call this one orders slash orders slash i want order id one two three okay which method it is get method 
okay now what about next one slash orders slash get orders slash get orders see how you are able to understand how to pass these values it may be a query stream and order name is equal to mobile so last one slash orders but it is a post http method as a post post means you need to pass the request to body i will explain this is basic simple one if you understand that uh, okay http diagram that easily you can understand either xml or json whatever it mobile that's it okay now here see now what i am trying to say here if you want access this one this is the uri this is the resource this is the uri this is the resource sorry only simple orders means slash v1 get means it is able to access it is able to access this resource you are able to access another means this one you are able to access another means this one try to understand see it is called request how you are all these are called uri how to access your resources you want access get orders you want access get orders one two three means how to read the values from the uri means inside of the method you should give at the rate path para order id whatever value will come right those values will be coming there here you should write in order id understood team here 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 you should write in order id similarly if you want to read here how many arguments two arguments how to read the query string values at the rate query param i will explain later go for order id int order id go for comma at the rate query param order name i will explain all are clearly order name int order name int order name understood team now see what is your for all this you are is first you are going request with v1 okay i will explain what is path param query param as of now you will feel these are the annotations okay. how to read the values from the uri okay. path param and query param if your path structure is in this way go for path param if you are okay if your input parameters in the form of query string go for how to read the values from the query string use query param how to read the values from the uri path path param how to read the values from the ur query string query param understood understood yeah now if it is body so it is not it is a post you should go for post but here interested one is how you are you are how your resource will look represent a response i want represent a response in the form of xml at the rate application slash xml i want represent my response in the form of json 
at the rate produces is used to response representation on top of resource you need to give i want representation in the form of xml produce but but what is the request here here my request is in the form of either xml or json if your request till now we are getting only response but last last method expecting both request and response how we are okay, expecting re request at the rate consumes application slash xml at the rate consumes application slash xml and what about response order is not important you can give any order at the rate produces application slash xml sir what is a uh, consume for sir i will explain at the rate consumes is request representation what kind of format you are expecting request this at the rate consumes internally is used for to convert this xml into java object here i have a java object who will convert your json to java object who will convert your xml to java object who will take care who will take care so who will take care this at the rate consumes will take care who will take care at the rate consumes will take care understood sir at the rate produces means always your resource will prepare the java object but at the rate produces as the responsible to convert this java object into xml at the rate produce is used to do i will give some statement at the rate produce is used to response representation at the rate consumes is the request to representation i will explain here are these annotations we have here are these annotations we have we have I will write these annotations comments. Jacks RS annotations. First annotation. At the rate path. At the rate path. This is used to identify the resource. The scope of scope of at the rate path scope of this annotation is class level comma method level. The next one at the rate get it is usual to get the resources from it is used to get the resources from server the scope of the scope of this annotation is class level it will be used for class level also no 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 it should not use class level it should be only at method level. At level. At the rate post. Like that, we have so many HTTP methods are there. We'll discuss all, all these methods later. It is usual to insert the resources into server. 
insert the resources into the server. The scope of this annotation also method level. Now, next one. At the rate produces, it is it is usual to it is usual to response representation. 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 The scope is at class comma method level. If all the methods are same response representation, go for this. If all the methods of only one representation, if all the methods of this class, all the methods of this class, the representation is all the methods of the class. Okay, representation is same. Suppose all the methods are okay. XML only here. Here is my code here. Here is my code. We started writing the code right here. No, not this, not this, not this. We have it. Uh, if all the methods same representation, go for class level declare. Uh, Okay, at the rate of provision of but one method is one another method is another declared at method level at the rate of produces okay what is the representation is it only one representation or multiple representation i would say multiple representation i will explain later when we should go for multiple representation then we should go for multiple representation i will explain that later that means the example is example is what the rate produces application slash xml application slash json when you should go for XML, when you should go for JSON, I will explain. Application slash JSON. That's it. Now, here, here single one. Here is example is at the rate produces application slash XML. That's it. And I should go for this. I will explain this. Okay. Oh. Done. Okay, next one. What is at the rate consumes? What is at the rate consumes? It is usually to request representation. The scope is at class level, scope is at method level. It is usual to request representation. It is usual to request representation. No. No, next one. Sixth one. At the rate path parallel. It is usual to to read the values from the URI to read the values from the URI path the scope is at method level I will explain this practically when we talk about more example I will explain this scope is at method level at the rate query param at 
at the rate query para it is used to read the values from the query string query string it is used values from the query string it is used values from the query string okay it is used value from the query string it is used value from the query string okay no like that we have so many annotations are there that we'll discuss now okay now we'll see it so how to expose your normal java class as a resource how to expose your normal java class as a resource so using this annotations then only your normal java class would be exposing as a resource class otherwise it can't be exposing as a resource class understood team hope everyone is clear now now we'll see now very very important topic we are going into discuss now importance of http importance of http interest very very important importance of http interest. okay any doubts team here are you clear or any doubts here what is the difference between path param and query param sir that i will explain sir in in practical example you will be able to know i will explain please wait some time i will explain very clear what is the difference between path param and query param understood yeah still anything any questions please walk through once this one any doubts you can ask me here uh, we take a value in the uh, bracket now curly bracket yeah 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 space, yeah due to space issue here i'm not taking you will get more clarity during our examples sir uh, this is uh, like y equal to one two three and name equal to mobile so is this a no. json format right sir no it is a, the data is coming in the form of uri right no json yes it's a normal string yeah only yes, sir, yes. json is you are passing in the body no yeah. it's a normal string normal okay. uri string and sir what is the default uh, uh, what is the default con at the rate consume means what the uh, if any method once we'll call that test api okay. what no, is no, the right. default one. response will get one no so in spring rest it is in json in plain rest no this annotation always mapped with this annotation always mapped with at the rate post annotations these annotations mapped are binding with this annotation binding with at the rate get annotation always binding with so in spring rest if you are not specified default is json here you have to mention otherwise it will give error okay sir okay otherwise it will give error default if you are not specifying default it will be assume that plain dot text okay plain slash text format that all will show you practically that all will show you practically is it clear team Please check once. If any doubts, you can ask me. Take one minute time. Have a look. If any doubts, you can ask. This uh, OID in curly braces, we will explain later, now, sir. This order ID in curly braces in the path at the red path at path, you will explain later, now, sir. Here, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, this value will come dynamically from the uri slash orders order id the the uri in curly braces means this value will come dynamically how to read that value using path parameter 
how to read the value using path para understood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. understood mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sir uh, like we spring mbc uh, we have to configure here in babe.xml no don't here we have to configure jar no spring mbc i will talk about spring mbc also later Okay. Yeah, then and we should use a bit dispatcher simulator. I will explain that later. Okay. Yeah, here in Spring MVC, you should go for a dispatcher servlet. Okay. okay. Yeah, I will explain. I will talk about more. Team, is it clear, everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah. Please let yes, me know sir. if it helps. Yeah. Now. Now we'll see importance of okay, HTTP protocol. Importance of HTTP interest. Okay, first we'll start. What is importance of HTTP interest? What is HTTP? HTTP stands for Hypertext transfer protocol. HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. It is used to transfer the data from client to server. It is used to transfer the data from client to server it is used to transfer the data from client to server it is used to transfer the data from client to server hypertext transfer protocol it is used to Transfer the data from client to server. It is a stateless protocol. HTTP stands for hypertext transfer protocol. It is used to transfer the data from client to server. It is a stateless protocol. It is a stateless protocol. Now, next one. So, what is the HTTP? So I have a client. I have a server. While you are transferring data from client to server, you should frame the HTTP request. While transferring data from client to server, you need to build HTTP request. So your client will give response. HTTP response. HTTP response now. Now we'll see. Now we'll see next one. How would happen? Very, very important team. See what I would say here. Here it is a client. Your client may be a browser. Here it is a client. Your client may be a browser. Here if it is a server. Here it is a server. Here it is a client. Here it is a server. So what would be happened here? Client will send a request. Client would send a request. No. Server will give response. 
server will give response now what happened here client will send http request server will give http response so you need to understand you need to understand what is http request to format and what is http response to format you need to understand what is http request to format and what is http response to format very very important can anyone tell what is http request to format can anyone tell what is http request to format uh, there are uh, in the http request there are three parts as part of the request yeah, yeah first one is what, yeah yo, first one what are for, those uh, three parts url and uh, second one is uh, for mm -hmm. header and third one is for uh, request mm -hmm. body mm. okay yeah looks like good now we'll see you have three parts one is request line another one is uri okay no uri okay request line will have request to uri header request a header another one is body another one is body another one is body request line okay request line headers body first we will talk about request line method name plus URI method name plus URI that means okay example is if method is get method URI means slash orders something slash orders slash orders method name and URI method name comma URI slash orders. So okay. So what is mean by okay, okay headers? How this sample structure is there? Okay, sample example I will explain later. What is mean by headers? Headers will give metadata of the request. Metadata of the okay, request means okay, example, example, who is calling your application? It is in the form of key value pair. Client is Amazon. Who is calling your application? It is who is calling your application? Who is calling your application? Client is Amazon. Who is calling your application client is amazon and from where this guy is calling what is the ip address what is the date see more information about your request is called metadata so means in request you got orders but from where is request coming who is calling what is the ip address these are all information more Which about browser yeah, what browser it is user agent means what browser it is what language these are calling accept language everything headers are very very important now next one body is optional no body for get methods 
body required for post methods no body for get methods body required for post methods no body for get methods body required for post methods no body for get methods body required for post methods you need to understand this if you are not understanding this rest no if you are not understanding this okay, http you can't understand your rest please try to understand done okay, example one okay, example one for okay example one for okay http request okay example one for http request example one for http request what is example one get method see method is get see uri okay what is the uri slash orders so get a method and the slash orders and uh, get a method and slash orders and what is the slash orders URI order ID 123 headers you have any any headers like user agent or whatever it any headers module now here it is an option no body it is a get method no body example two example two example two post method how oh, the http request format i'm talking okay. here you should have the body body okay. may be xml body may be json order you need to pass the body order id order id you need to pass the body order name order name mobile closing this order. so you are passing this body if it is post means compulsory your method is here post post means compulsory you should have here method is equal to post compulsory you should have here method is equal to post user agent so here it is your order here it is your order is it clear team or any questions so put means different delete means different it is your http request format it is your http request format if it is uri path is this example to get method with query string here you should use query string order id one two three query string name is equal to mobile order id one two three for a string name is equal to mobile that's it any questions this is http request to format now can anyone tell what is http response format can anyone tell what is http response format anyone still it is not done yeah tell me what is the method in uh, output sir in and in which uh, at the rate uh, produce consume what it will send no, that i will explain next i will explain but i am asking normal http response format yes, how sir. your okay. server will send okay http response format to your client yes sir as part of yes. the uh, response uh, format the line status line response okay. error and yeah uh, please go ahead message mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah mm. good not sure this uh, is uh, digital zoom 
now we are doing meeting right you are typing in google and you are telling not sure but let's see in my classroom <laughs> training most of the no no in classroom training most of the people is not telling yeah okay then status line uh, no sir actually i learned this thing during sir uh, sarodet okay okay yeah, that's good 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 for uh, okay remembering yeah. and yeah http body so status line see you will be able to know after half an hour you will be able to know how easy you are rest api you don't need 3 months 4 months 5 months course at outside trust me 2 days is more than enough this rest api status line status line means what is the status code and status message yes, status code means rest apis has given so many status codes so you are okay http your response is given 1 year 2 year 100 to 199 it is called informational message this is called 1xx now if you go to here 200 to 299 2xx 2xx it is called success this is 300 to 399 it is called redirection 400 to 490 for four four yeah. four 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 let's see but why we should learn this all now we'll see later will be headers is common information about more about your headers means metadata of the response like uh, how much response content length what is the content length okay and uh, and okay what okay, next one how much okay response content length and okay next one next one so okay, next one okay now what is the uh, response type what type of um, content type you have application slash xml or json like that headers will give more information about your request headers will give more information about your request body body means list of orders how you will get list of orders order response what is my status status order status is delivered or something it is body it depends it is body depends understood team or any questions you can ask any questions you can ask okay now see now okay next one okay next one what is next one so now so you, we, we have seen okay request and response what is one simple example end to end exam what is one simple end to end exam simple one okay end to end response okay example now here see end to end example 200 message is okay or sometimes okay success are okay okay headers are all what is the content length 
what is the content type and so on all no body is mandatory in response here response body is mandatory here response body is mandatory in case of request for get methods no response but in case of here response body is mandatory in case of here response body is mandatory any questions team you can ask any questions any questions team any questions team you can ask if all okay then we'll start our importance of http how to how to use this http in our rest any questions team here you can ask any? No, sir. hope all are good all are good team no yes, questions sir. yeah now we'll see now very very important yeah when request will be coming from your client when request will be coming from your client your client may be a browser your client may be a java client your client may be anything and request will be coming from your client to your server what your server will do what your server will do now here you have here you have there is a http request here you have there is a http request here you have okay, http request here we have http request this http request this http request here you have http request here we have http request here now you should see what is the request request line okay if you have request line means again here we have two two parts here one is method another one is URI. one is method another one is URI. very very important please try to understand you can take last one picture also very very important it is if you understand this nothing is there in our rest no another one is headers another one is request headers already http request is there right headers the last one is body last one is body last one is body now here's last one is body now now please try to and your request will come from your client request to uri what are there whenever request will be coming from client request to uri method is there uri is there headers are there if it is get method no body if it is post method body is there here we have so many okay http methods so many http methods get method post method put method delete method trace method head method options method here we have so many are there so what would be happened here for every get method what your jax rs will do it will map equivalent for every http get method your jax rs will take care equivalent of post for every get method your jax rs will map equivalent of jax rs method for every http method your jax rs will add equivalent of http method equivalent of your jax rs equal equivalent of your jax rs method will come okay now so that's the reason whenever request will 
come these are your jacks rs coding in your http request object what method is there it will map corresponding to your jacks rs if it is okay then only your request will be able to process it uri uri how to extract the data from the uri jacks rs has given so many annotations at the rate path para at the rate query para at the rate matrix para at the rate form para at the rate bean para at the rate cookie para at the rate context uri info all these annotations are used at the rate xxx para i would say at the rate xxx all these annotations are used to to extract the data from the uri all these annotations are used to to extract the data from the uri all these annotations are used to to extract the data from the uri all these annotations to extract the data from the uri all these annotations are used to to extract the data from the uri all these annotations are used to to extract the data from the uri understood to extract the data from the uri understood so all these are available from java x dot ws dot rs package that is okay package is okay but from the uri when you should use path param when we should use query param when we should use a matrix param form param i will explain i will explain that but at this stage your requirement is only get requirement blindly you should think hey in our project i should use either one of the annotation to get the data from the uri when you should go for path param when you should go for query matrix i will explain but either one of the annotation you should use to read the data from the uri that's it how to read the value from the header at the rate header param but this annotation is used we, we can read only one header at a time if you want to read multiple headers at the rate context http headers this annotation is used we can read more than one header we can read multiple headers one or more headers we can read one or more headers we can read more than one or more headers at once one or more header means okay. one or more attributes of headers no, yeah yes 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 so okay. it is see it is called only user agent only if you want one more header one more other head param one other head header param can read only one header key values only if you want to retrieve all the key values you should go for other rate context HTTP. yeah sure. understood so how to read how to implement now we'll show you practically don't worry no till http request header any questions you can ask now body is very very important now please check once review once let me know so how can we get more uh, headers or one at, at others one? is it okay others yeah it would be income right it's a key value pay right i told right client id ip address date how can read okay instead of one by one read it will go for at the rate context http headers it can read all the headers how to read we'll show you practically okay sir i will show you practically how to read any questions team on headers no sir any questions hope you are good now go to body when body is an mandatory if any data in your http post 
body is a mandatory if the http method is post if http method is post then only body is mandatory if http method is not you know if http method is not post then body is not mandatory now what would do here content handlers how to read the value from the body means it is called content handlers how to read so to read the values from the body it is called content you are sending data in body means it is called content how to read the value from the body how to read the value from the body now th there are so many are there one is java.io.inputstream another one is java.io.file java.io.inputstream java.io.file another one is java.io.reader another one is string char array byte array string and also jacks b classes jackson classes these are the annotations to extract the data from the body either one of them we will use okay depends upon the requirement either one of them will use depends upon the requirement these are the how to extract the data from the uri means these annotations are required we can't use all the annotations at once what is your requirement based on the requirement i should go for path param based on the requirement i should go for query param based on the requirement i should go for other params understood no these are called predefined content handler few of the content handlers are custom content what are the custom content handler means message body reader message body writer these are the usual for any kind of data format should come this it can it can able to handle it from the http request body essay is body reader essay is body writer understood so this is the way whenever request will come from your http request to your client you need to know you need to know so your jack rs has very intelligent device jack rs should know if only get a method it will take care of using only get an attention if it is post method it will need for post also if the headers also is there we should write in our code how to read the headers also we should write in our code how to read the headers also any questions team you can ask predefined content handler are two types predefined and custom and these are of the written the input stream file reader these are the annotations also sir but these are the classes these are not annotations only to extract the in data from the uri only annotations these are the classes means okay, developers mission so this is classes and we should use here yeah, yeah. Okay. this is the annotations these are the classes how these classes will help us to read the data from the file mm -hmm. And what is the message body reader and is the writer sir? Explain a bit sir. Sorry, sorry. Masses body reader and masses body writer. Mm. Explain again sir. Mm. Mm. See what is the use of this means? REST supports data formats are HTML, data formats are text, data formats are XML data formats are json see in future any abc format will come again you should write the code how to convert abc format to java java to abc format no what this message body reader and writer will do if any new data format also will come into the market if any new data format will be come in the market these classes will take care 
if any new data format will come then custom handler custom handler will take care will take care to handle it irrespective of the data format will be coming in future custom handler will take care to process the load understood any questions team you can ask clear team yes sir hope you got understood now okay, next one http response format same like here in this response what are the steps are required word one is status line another one is headers another one is body Message. yeah yes now we'll see here it is called status line here it is called headers here it is called body status line two things one is status code another one is message if you understand this rest would be easy but nothing is there in rest status code another one is message what are the status code you have status codes are 1xx either one 2xx 3xx 4xx 5xx what are these messages maybe okay success redirect client side error Server server side server. Side. what are the headers here it's all headers you don't need to write any okay headers you don't need to write any uh, you know no 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 un annotations are available here okay the headers here no annotations are available in code whatever headers you have set here it will come if you are not setting default header sir mm -hmm. what is the okay response content length another one is what is the uh, content type these are the predefined headers mm -hmm. content length may be some thousand kb now response type may be application slash xml or mm -hmm json whatever it um, and server name also sir yeah whatever it you will now here is body is this body both are same ultimately here goal is how to content how to do this content handler how to do this content handler now here what you will do this content handler you should go ahead with so many use cases content handler you should go ahead with predefined content handlers are custom content handlers same like okay request what are they here response there okay their input stream and all is there here output stream java dot io dot output stream what are the string what are the car array byte array jacks b classes jackson classes means if you want to handle uh okay xml go for jaxp if you want to handle jackson go for this custom means what would you do say message body reader and write if any new data format uh, you want to uh, send message body reader message body writer. that's it message body reader and body writer that's it okay this is the way how to handle it. now sometimes you know okay depends upon the requirement okay okay depends upon the requirement i want only body 
Mm -hmm. I want only response, body only. I don't want all other stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, example. I want only response, body only. I don't want other stuff. Then you should go for either predefined class is called Java X dot RS dot Java X dot web services dot RS dot core dot responses class is there. This response class will hold. Okay. See, so okay. If you want only body, if you want only body means you should go for only okay HTTP response body. If you want only okay response body means give either Jacks B classes or Jackson classes you can give. You want only body means Jacks B classes or Jackson classes it give. So now okay requirement is I want all status plus headers plus body means then you should go for then we should use we should use response class we should use java x dot we should use these classes we should use java x dot of the ws dot response classes we should use this one we should use this one it depends upon the requirement we should go for this for return type you want only a response body go for your predefined classes only no no i want all of everything go for this java x dot ws dot rs dot core dot of response classes also you want to go this is what any questions team okay then we'll see how the use cases how the use cases in your real time we are going to see use cases no number one only get services if only get services means no we should know how to read the data from the url that is we should so read what does, it, what does it mean only get services only get the data from the servers only get the data from the servers not to post the data into servers sir only one time only one method can be read as only one method no 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 be... you can use 100 methods but all 100 Multiple methods are only get okay okay so only you are not sending data to your server you are retrieving the data from the server understood sure. okay, okay, sure. yeah. okay depends upon the requirement your client will tell hey i want to get the list of products list of orders list of no means only you are getting you are retrieving client will tell hey i want to get service but i should track track okay, something who who is calling where is calling i want to know means we should know how to read the data and client information we, we, we should know how to read the data using at the rate xxx params and at the rate header params you should use at the rate xxx params and at the rate header params also you should have strong knowledge hope you're clear team okay, did you understand what i'm trying to say hope you're clear everything yeah now next one what is post service 
post service means we should know how to read the data from the body body then either we should use either we should use predefined content handlers or either we should use predefined content handlers or custom content handlers custom content handlers sometimes client is asking i want to post the data into my servers then at the same time i want headers how to track then use content handlers plus at the rate header params are at the rate context HTTP headers at the rate context HTTP headers headers that's it any questions team these are the possible real-time use cases these are the possible now if you are strong on this here only get means you should know path pair at the rate query pair at the rate matrix pair at the rate path query matrix form pair at the rate path param at the rate query param at the rate matrix param at the rate form param at the rate bean param that's it second use case means we should use all second use case means we should use all plus at the rate header param comma at the rate context http headers, headers. post means high level only you should go for content handlers how to handle your content post plus headers means content handlers plus at the rate header param or at the rate header param or at the rate context http headers that's it sir in post uh, service we write uh, data into uh, body yeah. Na? yeah no no your client will write the beta your client will write the data into body okay. what you guys will do read the data from the body your consumer has the okay responsible to prepare to place the data into body as a provider job what is that read the data from the body how to read the data from the body read the data from the body convert this xml into java object once you got the java object then whatever you want you can do it understood is it clear or any questions on it sir uh, for uh, reading data we can use a uh, git method then why we use uh, post uh, here you, data is coming from the body get means if data will be coming in the uri if the data will be coming in the form of a body we should use post only how to read the data from the body post how to read the data from the uri get okay sir okay okay understood are you clear okay now 
now we will see actual practicals now theory done that's why this http request is important if you understand this you can compare easily please read this four points once sir explain last one sir fourth number fourth one you uh, yes, you sir. need to use some content handler at the yeah. same time you should use either header params or if you want to read along with content only single header or if you want to read along with the content multiple headers so in diagram sir uh, we suppose service plus headers no? uh, here right uh, here you are asking no i will show you practically okay. i'm not getting what is your question i ask you sir please explain this again with the reference from the diagram also yeah anyhow you yeah. will show you practicals right at that time you will be able to know okay sir all all of the examples we are going to show right at that time you will be able to is it clear team now second example how to configure web.xml files how to configure web.xml files these things we have to know these things we have to know okay now let's see now let's see what happened how it works now let's see then second example we'll see at the rate path param at the rate query param at the rate matrix param we'll see all this stuff from the second examples okay now see now first example hello world jersey it is simple one now here see so now what it would happen at the rate of path so now simple one hello resource at the rate of path hello resource now so it is it should return if you pass only the only get slash hello resource means hello jersey would be executed if it is xml slash abc means what it would be happened now xml would be written if it is slash xyz means what it would be written html file it would be written i have written one simple jacks rs simple jacks rs so you how to write the step one steps to develop rest api at provider yet steps to develop rest api rest service at provider yet number one create maven web project number two add jax rs vendor which vendor you are go going to use if you are using jersey add jersey dependencies add jersey dependency in palm.xml create maven web project create maven web project create maven web project add jax rs vendor jersey dependency add jax rs vendor jersey dependency in palm.xml add jax rs vendor jersey dependency in palm.xml jersey dependency in palm.xml next one write resources which will represent at the rate 
path annotation. Write resources which will represent at the rate path annotation. Write sub resources which will represent at the rate which will represent at the rate path at the rate get or post at the rate produce comma at the rate consume annotations. Write business logic in sub resources. Number one. Last one, write a protection. Write up dot XML. Write up dot XML. Write up dot XML. Configure. Write up dot XML. Configure. Jersey. Servlet. This is what. Step number one, create Maven project. Step number two, add the dependencies. What dependencies we are using? Jersey dependency. Add the Jersey dependencies. If you want to bold, we can go ahead with the bold also. Jersey dependence. We are using Maven JDK 8 version. So we are deploying JDK 8 version. So we are deploying JDK 8 version. So we are deploying JDK 8 version. Done. It is done. Okay, next one. What we should see? Next one. What we would see next one? what we will see next one now where is your app.xml app.xml what is your com.sun.jc.spa.container.servlet.servlet.container param name com dot sun dot jersey dot config dot property dot packages param value com dot zenotech dot rest means your 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 classes package name package yeah classes package so that during your application startup during your application deployment it will scan the the resources classes which are available under this package it is normal class if you remove this it won't scan i will show you practically it will scan only the classes which are representing with at the rate path so in this package even 100 classes are there it won't scan all the classes. It will scan only the classes which are representing at the rate path. The classes which are representing at the rate path. The classes which are representing at the rate path. Okay. The classes which are representing at the rate path. So it is the undev.xml. Sir. Yeah. Sir, it, it, it would have been uh, better if you are uh, uh, showing us from the starting how you have made it. Yeah, sure. That also we can start. No problem. Slash V1. I would be copy from here in that case.
file new others maven project others maven project create not simple project next web project next group id com dot cnotech artifact id you can take anyone it's not a problem but for more uh, clarity i could to take from here now click on next finish first step is here we should add the dependencies and to avoid this jdk 5 always what we should do we need to add one is dependencies one is jdk 8 plugin apply yeah <clears throat> i'm removing all this stuff <clears throat> so we need to add these dependencies Either you should go for Google or it's already working. I'm copying these dependencies. What dependencies we should add? Jersey server dependencies. Okay. Done. So provider end we have created a maven project and added the dependencies maven update maven update done no next one no next one no please next one i need to write the code web.xml no, first we will write the code then we'll go for web.xml src main java what code class com dot com dot dot rest rest class demo hello hello resource hello resource is here we need to go ahead with red path 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 slash source we need to go for one method for public public white string string display Hello text. Oh, is this get method or post method? Get. 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 Here return. Hello. HTTP. Why it is not giving get method? Or the right get. Yeah. Red get. Return. Hello, Jersey. Whatever it. Okay. So it is. It return is plain text, right? At the rate. Uh, Produces. What format we are going to use? Plain slash text. If you want to prove, uh -huh. go to here. 
Mm-hmm. Go to here. Mm-hmm. At the rate produces an addition. One second. Java X dot double X dot. Okay. At the rate produces an addition. A list of media. Why it is not? It should give. Hello. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, below have a method sir first time this type method i have seen sir the string value default um, let me check list of what media types list of media types each media type would have one second so a method for single value produces is not required to set a media type of representation that it produces not default to a value is star star anything it can give but it should not give one second i'm just adding this It is a text slash plain only. I'm just adding this. Mm, media type dot html. This mm. one uh, media type. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can give anything. You can give direct or we can give Achha, we can give even sir uh, at the met- method level we can give at class levels also no sir yeah if the all all methods are giving same response you can give class level also it's not a problem hmm. see what would oh. give hmm. yeah hello resource hmm. it is a simple text plane simple text slash xml i'm giving just a hello jersey this method is called if text plane is a request this method is called if xml is a request this method is called if html is a request done so at the rate path x y z z at the rate path a b c so a b c means this xml would be called okay html means xyz would be called text to plane means this will be called okay so it is simple one i am not using any complex in media type you have so many you have you have text html you have text slash xml we have text slash plane so many are many there. many constants many constants yes yeah, yeah. many constants okay now what would happen here so now we need to write okay it's okay okay it's not recommended to write this okay dot xml manually because if any something small mistakes are there it is the problem so now I am adding one dummy class just to, for showing this. Go dummy class. This class would not be scanned. SRC web app. What is our okay dot XML? As it is, I am going into provide here. No, here see what I am doing here. I have configured this servlet class name. What implementation vendor? If implementation vendor is REST easy, write that REST easy. Implementation vendor is CXF, write CXF servlet. You need to inform that where is your resource classes. Hey, my resource classes is available here. My resource classes are available here. 
and the next one is param value next one is param value it is that's it how it could be executed and all now we'll see that practically we'll see that practically okay now done so now we'll see done my development is done i could add created a project added the dependencies added these classes resources and okay, sub resources write business logic in okay, sub resources write app dot xml configure this okay, app dot xml in jersey circulate okay that's it now run as mv installed mm -hmm. what is the error jre not jdk build path configure build path it is referring jre not jdk do you need to give jdk No. Run as. Still not. Hey, no, it should come. The name is like that, but it is referring JDK only. Done. Mm -hmm. Build is success. Once build is successful, mm -hmm. now deploy your application into server. deploy the application into server how to deploy the application we server. run as server but not sure it is not as of now what i will do i'm going into copy manual deployment manual deployment means go to my folder softwares tomcat mm -hmm. web apps i'm going into deploy here i'm removing all old ones i'm going to deploy my application how to deploy the application how to start bin cmd bin cmd tomcat next sorry not ex5 startup dot b8 so tomcat would be started tomcat would be started okay in this what is our uh, port number what is our port no. number here? 8080. 8080. What we'll do? HTTP colon. Mm, local no, host. 8080. 8080. No, it's not 8080. It's 2021. I did a change one earlier. 2021. Manager app. Mm -hmm. Admin, admin or Tomcat, Tomcat, either one it is. Tomcat, Tomcat. No, it is my application. See. Mm -hmm. See, you can see during your startup logs. 
during your startup logs you can see what are the services would be called during your startup logs you can see what are the okay, services would be called we have run many times this way during servlet sir one second no i would say why this enrollment and all is there if you want i can remove already existing applications web apps here is the row here i have some previous projects i am stopping i am removing remove, mrp remove, uh, remove. delete now again i will start see here during my application startup if you see 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 here what classes are scanned under com.cnotech.rest what classes would be scanned see in this package what are the classes are there in this package see it is clearly telling that com.cnotech see scanning for root resources and provider classes in the package scanning for root resources and provider classes in the uh, you know in this package not for the not for the you know uh, with uh, not for the normal classes only only jax rs classes only it would be scanned understood now done no next one see how to go here very very important here if you see if you want access so once the okay, deployment is done i am framing the url slash rest slash rest what you should do slash rest it is hello resource oh god that is the reason hello resource is not scanned that is the reason hello resource is not scanned see again i will deploy see earlier while i doing copy paste hello resource was not copied understood what i am trying to say now see i remember i told the class which is called at the right path means compulsory it would be scanned it is not scanned means your class don't have the resources again you should rebuild it and okay deploy now we will see previous log and this log run as build dot dot clean install sir we can add a server in eclipse also sir uh, then yeah, we can run add it. you can add you can add it's not a problem we just trying to show how we're going to scan everything yes you can add i will deploy this if you will be deployed here then we can see more logs that's the reason startup.bat now here see what logs you will see previous log and this log see the difference see the difference see see the class which is scanned com.cnotech.resto.hello resource is scanned com.cnotech.resto.hello resource is scanned earlier this was not happened mm -hmm. understood team earlier this was not happened mm -hmm. now it is there so do you do you remember do you have here get also you have here you have here demo also is this like a demo would be scanned is this no. like a demo would be scanned no because demo does not have at the rate uh, path annotations only at the rate resource only will have at the rate path annotations mm -hmm. that's the reason at the rate path is there that's why here it would be scanned mm -hmm. now you should go here 
go to here see here how to call your first resource slash your f.xml what is this man slash your f.xml your okay your f.xml path mm -hmm. so whenever you call your okay f.xml path if you are not specified any by default first one will be executed mm -hmm. by default first one would be executed if you want to go for a second one okay. if you want to go for a second one what it is called now you have to see here slash rest slash abc it is also get go for third one here go for third one here same URI is same now what you will do xyz card understood no please try to understand see if it is there are three urls how to test your apis how to test slash rest slash you should not call this one because you have to add root resource that root root resource is hello resource now you got if you are not specified anything first two method is called hello resource is calling hello jersey would be called slash rest <coughs> should call everywhere after rest without root resource you can't call your sub resources if you want to call okay, sub resources compulsory you have to call uh, root resources why are root resources only you should call this sub resource okay. sorry yes sir firstly root sorry, resources sir. then sub resources yes slash rest is your f.xml path after that slash allow resource inspect sir what is the problem yeah let's see let's see not only browser you can test many ways i will show you always not only from the browser how to test your rest apis using See, postman how to test from the rest apis yeah using postman i will explain So how to test REST APIs? So if it is get service, then using a browser we can test it whereas get plus headers comma whereas get plus headers whereas get plus headers comma and post then if it is get service then using browser 
we can test it here as get plus headers comma post service then then post services then we should there is post service then we should use one of the you should use postman what is the use of this postman what is the use of this postman postman see i have a provider i have a consumer see once your service is ready i have a provider i have a consumer so whenever your service is ready whenever your service is ready what you will do you will share the swagger url or service urls to your consumer you will share the swagger url swagger url or whatever the service url is there whatever service url is there all these urls apis urls to consumer what consumer will do what consumer will do consumer is trying into access your provider what consumer will do consumer will try to access your provider consumer is okay try to access your provider so during access if consumer is getting continuously errors during you know while consumer is testing this service if consumer is continuously is getting errors so what consumer will slap like anything to your provider hey provider i am accessing your service i am doing testing so many errors and till now i did not see any okay success response from your service it's a bad to your provider it's a bad provider you know feel like see why this service is not working before sharing your service to your consumers provider will do the proper testing before sending this service to your consumer provider will do proper testing how provider really will do the testing what is the provider real testing these real testing should be replicated by this testing tools like postman instead of you will share this urls to your consumer you will share all this to whom your postman you will do the proper testing from where postman so now from postman you will test your service your provider feel like request is coming from where consumer only like that you need to you need to configure all this service endpoint url you need to test your service make sure your service is working fine or not if service is working fine from postman consumer also it should work that is the reason there is no front end here if it is front end means browser you will go if it is you, you have ui means okay you, you should go browser and okay you can test it but no ui here before sharing your user guides your swagger urls or your api urls to your consumers make sure as a provider you have to do minimum unit testing from the postman make sure your service is working fine properly or not you are testing from postman means you are really testing from your consumer you are testing from postman means you are really testing from the consumers understood hey if your service is working fine from the postman then you will tell hey hello consumers my service
this is working fine properly you can start your you know accessing my service if it is only get service go to the only browser is enough yeah if it is if it is you know okay i will explain now if it is post and get plus headers we should go how to enable this postman postman tool here is the postman hmm. api platform you can download it and you can it is an open source software you can download it i have already downloaded it download this postman postman software download so many are there Yeah, now see how these URLs are there. As of now, it is only for get one. No problem. See, take this URL, go to your postman's. It is an URL. What method it is? Get or post or put or any HTTP method. And test here. If if you have okay, headers, uh -huh. if you have okay, headers, you need to add headers here. Uh -huh. How many headers you want? Add that many number of headers. If you don't have okay, headers, remove it. If you have body, whenever you will give post, body would come automatically. Raw body and all, form data and all. As of now, it is a get. Mm -hmm. As of now, it is a get mm -hmm. slash rest slash hello resource. Now, mm -hmm. first one, click on send. If it is only get, no need. Uh, get oh. plus headers means you can't pass the headers from the browser then postman is required if it is only get it should work what is the error no error see it is calling actually hello resource is calling see here we are not getting response from the ac hello resource how many times you would be called Hello resource, hello resource. Okay, resource object is created. Resource object is see, I got the response. See, hello Jesse. Oh. Now browser also it should give. See, I got the response. Hello Jesse. Understood, right? So no, no, no. I want second one. What is second one? A B C. A B C means I want to represent my response is in the form of okay xml how to go either postman or browser go to postman get method no 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 headers and all we'll see headers and all next example i'm expecting only xml meanwhile you can go to browser abc Why it is taking this much of time? Sorry? Why is taking too much time, sir? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe my my system is sure what. See? I got the response. Yes, response is sir. here XML, not HTML. XML. Yes, here is yeah. now if you want to go for third one third one is html mm. 
if you want to go for third one new one if it is headers are there okay we'll see all this okay example differently if it is headers are there we'll see all these examples are differently see okay. i got the html response okay. go to your browser i got the html response understood okay. Hmm. And this is way how to do simple REST API. You can do test using Postman. How to use simple REST API? You can using Postman. Understood or any questions here? Understood, sir. Hmm. So this is only first example only. You'll see so many examples day by day. No. Uh, no done now what happened how my consumer will write the client code to access my provider how my consumer will write the client code to test to this provider it is using postman tool what consumer also will do consumer end steps consumer end steps Consumer end steps. What is this consumer end steps? First consumer. Get the swagger or trust APIs and to point URL from provider. Get this swagger or REST APIs and point URLs from provider. Understood. Okay, next one. Next one, what happened? This guy also using Postman. Blindly, this guy will not write the code. Test the service or APIs using postman yeah now here see get the swagger or rest api and to point urls from the provider now second point this guy also postman anyone can use this provider also first will test how your service is working fine properly or not even qe testing team also we will test how this service is working fine properly or not performance tester also will do the testing how this service is working fine properly or not it's not like only provider why i should write unnecessary code if my you know first i will use this postman first i will use this postman i will test my service is working fine properly or not so if service is not, not working why i should write the code at consumer end if service is working then only i should start test the services apis using postman if it is working then write the service client code to call the service now here yeah. how many ways you can write the service client code there are so many ways you can write the service client code for how many ways we can write the test client code yeah using java.net.url java.net.url yeah using java.net.url using java.net.url b b jersey client using jersey client so many ways c using spring using spring spring d using rest easy 
e using apache http client yep 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 apache cxf g jacks rs client but market not using all market is crazy and this spring market is not using all market means in our real time we are not using all market most of the real time is using spring most of the real time is using spring we have to use spring we have to use but i will show you um, abc also but in our real time we have to focus more on this spring how to use this three so how to write the client code c file new file new others others maven project others maven project i am using simple maven project com dot screen tech 01 underscore jax rs underscore hello world underscore client hello world underscore client jar this is client application this is client application this is client application now here see first which client it is no i am using new class com dot stenotech new class com dot stenotech new class com dot stenotech no next one what is the class net client net client public static void main c how to use url url is equal to new url how i can get this url at this stage i am copy paste from here i am using it but in your real time your consumer will be there some other applications your consumer may be amazon provider may, may be url provider is maybe a uh, you know yahoo or whoever it is how your amazon guy knows this url swagger later i will explain swagger here i am not explaining swagger later i will explain swagger okay everything is swagger here swagger will have all the details what is your url what is your http method what is the request to format what is the response to format everything will be represented in swagger in tomorrow's example i will show you how to swagger enable and all i will show you tomorrow's examples but everything is swagger without swagger no projects are there team as of now i am hard coding it is starting examples in day to day okay examples i will explain swagger i mean after uh, two three examples you will see swagger tomorrow you will see swagger now okay it is url able to i am able to open connection url dot open connection what kind of connection you want you want http url connection so i i need to connect to http url connection Um, no, what it will do? Handle, exception handle, yeah. yeah. So no one will use this only for okay practicing. I am explaining what everyone will, will use. I will explain. Connection dot. 
set request to method how how could i know this request is get method or request is post method how can i know until unless your provider has okay okay inform to you then only i should able to know here otherwise i don't know what is request property request property means what you are accept mm -hmm. I will explain accept and all. I will explain later. I will accept. Mm -hmm. How can I know? It is my provider code. I am the consumer. How can I know? Swagger. Swagger will tell everything. Using swagger only, I can prepare. Using swagger only, I can prepare here. Here, just I am, I am copy paste here. But if I am the Amazon, my provider code is available at Yahoo. How can I know what is the URL? What is the method? What is the request to property? What? How can I know? Mm. Your, your provider guy has the okay, responsible to prepare one user guide, share that user guide to your consumers. Understood? No input stream reader dot connection dot get input stream. See, it is URL. It is open the connection between client and server. It is get the data from the server. Once you got the data, what you will do? BR dot read line. I don't know how many lines are available until reach all these lines while again that's it see now here see if I run the application See, I got the response or not? Yes, sir. I got the response from my server. I got the response from my server. This is the simple client code. So many complex clients code are there. How we'll see? I will explain. I will explain. See, it is the simple client code. How to call? How to call from your service? simple client code how to call from the service simple client code how to call the service now yes no but no one will use this what about next client new class jersey say to write this jersey to write this jersey, I need jersey dependencies are required. Yes, sir. To write this yeah. jersey, I need jersey dependencies are required. So then only I can use those classes. I can use those classes. By the way, I'm adding Spring also for spring client so now how this jersey client code 
anyhow this no one will use i just to show you how this jersey client code i will change only endpoint url see first you need to prepare the uri here is the uri this uri will be shared by your provider in swagger what is swagger 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 we'll see that swagger you'll see that swagger so now here see you'll see that swagger now here we have client client is equal client dot create client dot resource it is web resource it is web resource it is web resource now you got the resource object once you got the resource object resource dot get off client response means it is the uri once you got the uri through the uri prepare the client object through the URI, prepare the client object. Through the URI, prepare the client object. Through the client object, get the resource object. Okay, web resource object. Now you got web resource object. Once you got the resource object, what you will do? Resource dot get method. If it is post means post method whenever the statement it will be executed it will call your server get the response okay response dot get entity that response will be hold by in this string so this is simple how to call jersey client you will get the response see response you got example but the market industry no one will use this jersey no one will use this of okay, net clients those days gone just for awareness i'm explaining there are so many ways you can write the rest client code using java.net.url using jersey using spring using jaxrs using uh, rest easy using cxf using apache http client there are seven ways you can call your rest apis seven ways you can call your rest apis but the popular famous is spring now we are going to see that spring okay this Comment code will be... no no okay. why okay next class i will write it will be good right no? yeah spring client spring rest client so what happened you know in spring has some modules to connect with the database we need a jdbc template to connect with the hibernate you need hibernate template to connect with the rest service what template has given spring can anyone tell what template has given by the spring rest template yes there is a template is called okay, rest template rest template will be used at only consumer end not provider end this okay, rest template class is available in spring web jar that's why earlier i have added this spring web jar ignore version understand the concept the rest template is equal to new rest template now what we will do rest template to dot get for object if it is post post for object if it is put put for object if it is delete delete for object 
every http method every http method rest guys has given spring guys is given predefined class is called rest template predefined class is called rest template rest template dot get for object here is our url string url is equal to string url is equal to it is get method what is your response what is your response string dot class that's it you don't need to write any code everything will be your spring will take care internally sir, what it is, is rest template sir rest template is the predefined class which is given by spring web module org dot spring framework dot web dot client dot this class is used see get for object internally it will write the code instead of you will write all this code it will write the code it will frame the okay get method it will prepare the url so whenever you click on this okay execute okay you will not give okay execute who will execute this okay rest template will take care of this execute how you have written your first client code prepare the uri that instead of you will write your rest template will write the code instead of writing too much code by the developer your rest template will write this code how to prepare the uri how to prepare this now it will execute now it will execute do execute see here it will invoke the service it will invoke the service create the request client request is equal create the request once you got the request object now what happened once you got the request object what happened request dot execute this request dot okay, execute will be executed for okay execute internals if it is common http client request or simple http client request okay depends this client request it will be called this will take care how to you know call your restful and web services see how the connection dot okay instead of you will write all this stuff your spring guy has written for us okay, instead of you will write all this boilerplate code you just will write rest template is equal to new rest template rest template dot get for object that's it it will take care to call your service and get the response service responses no try to java see you got the response you got the response or not team you got the response or not yes, i got the response any questions team team did you understand team what i am trying to say yes sir team did you understand so here it is a main here it is a main method in future you will write big big flows will write in real time this consumer end main methods would not be there only for practice example i have added here main method only for practice example i have added main method in real time 
it is like a different one we'll see in our if any guy by mistake is asking can you write the snippet of the code how to call your rest api means you, you will be in the position to start to write hey in our project we are using get apis now we are using a rest template code to call the get api this is the snippet of the code so interviewer feel like okay you are hands on guy yes sir understood or any questions understood or any questions okay now so how many ways you can call so many ways you can call so many ways you can call so now fifth one use one of the use one of the client api to call the service the below steps are common a set the uri b set the method c invoke the client invoke the server and get the response invoke the server and get the response that's it invoke this server and get the response that's it any questions team here any questions you can ask me did you understand team yes sir did you understand what we are trying to say so <laughs> we have discussed how to write one provider end we have discussed how to write one consumer end we have discussed how to write one provider end we have discussed how to write one consumer end any questions team you can ask Hope you are clear everything. Yes, sir. Yeah. Any confusions, team? This is our syllabus. Now we are into here still. How to handle the URI? How to handle the post content example? How to do the exception handling? How to do Spring Rest? All we'll see. Hope you are good team. Should we start? Yeah. Yeah, please. When we, when, when we will see spring rest, sir. No, okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow okay, examples are there, right? We can see spring rest example. Okay. Team, shall we do one thing? We'll start tomorrow at 7:30. Is it okay? Morning. Sorry, eight, eight. Eight. sorry, eight, eight. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, seven. So we can back up early. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, is it okay, team? No, yeah, fine. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow you'll start. Uh, how to path param, query param example, when to use path param and query param how to use post example what is the importance of jacks b and jackson how the spring rest we are going to use tomorrow we are going to see all these use cases <laughs>